What do we have here? What do we have here? Let's go. Let's get them done. Bobby, obviously, uh, you've been through a lot in your career, big fights, big nights. Um, does me fighting on this card mean anything special to you? Yeah and no. I'll tell you both sides. Um, one to me is just another fight. I don't know, like, it's supposed to be 300, but to me it just feels like another fight, you know? But at the same time, like, I am super honored, you know? I'm honored that I'm on this card because there could have been a thousand other people that was on this card that I can think of, you know? Um, the fact that he threw my ass on there, you know, Lil Poor Me, is fucking sick. So I'm honored that I'm on the card, but as far as the show, it's just another show. It's just another thing for me. What about the matchup? You're fighting the guy with the most wins, the most fights, all these records in the UFC. You guys have been booked multiple times before. Um, are you like excited to kind of play spoiler to this whole Jim Miller 100, 200, 300 storyline? Oh yeah, we definitely gonna close the curtains on him. Um, fourth time's a charm, you know. Uh, we were originally supposed to fight each other, and I got I think a knee injury. I blew my knee out or something like that, and I had to have surgery, and so that happened. The second time we were both to fight each other, um, his opponent fell out. And so they asked me, like, on two weeks' notice to do the show. I'm sitting on the couch smoking and fat. I had to cut, like, 30 pounds. I, weigh, like, I walk around with 85, you know, and so cut 30 pounds in two weeks. I did it. I made the weight. But then I went to go see the doctor. I was like... <laughs> Just feeling out of breath. I couldn't get my breath behind me. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and the doctor's like, calm down, calm down. And that's you know, I just fucking passed out. My fucking lung collapsed, uh, kidneys failed. I was in the hospital for like a week, you know? And so that shit happened. And then uh, the third time I was supposed to fight this guy, everything's going great. I was gonna whoop his ass. And uh, I was watching this guy on, on, on YouTube. His name is Dr. Eric Berg. Little white guy, you know, smart little doctor, white guy. You listen to everything those guys say, you know? <laughs> and so I was listening to this guy and he's like, uh, I've been watching for about a year. He all about different stuff with your health. So like, hey, if your eyes are looking a little yellow, maybe you're lacking in this uh, deficiency. Maybe you need more B vitamins. Maybe you need more D vitamins. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'm learning about health because I'm getting old as shit and I better keep myself, you know, keep this train going. So I'm trying to like learn and shit. This is something I do on YouTube, just fuck around on YouTube, be on my health shit. Well, he had this one video and the shit said, uh, how to lose weight in your sleep. I'm like, what? Lose weight in my sleep? I don't gotta work hard? This sounds great, you know? So I'm watching the video and he's like telling you different shit. Like, oh yeah, take this, do this, you know? And so on his little whiteboard, he had the five things to take. And I think it was like uh, vitamin D, vitamin K, potassium, magnesium, and then this last one. But those four are good. I know those four, I'm like, those are all fucking healthy. They're gonna say, I'm not gonna get, it's not doing anything, you know, take a shit. But the last one, it said D-H-E-A. And I didn't know what the fuck that was. I was like, I don't know what that is or where to find it or anything, but okay. And so I'm going to the store. I'm at Walmart. Little, little Walmart. Not behind the counter where you got to talk to like physicians or anything like that. Just in the vitamin section. So I'm getting the D and I'm getting the K. And hey, there's that shit right there. DHA. I wasn't even going to get it. I didn't even know where to find it. But I saw it. I said, oh, shit. So I got it. And I looked at it like, what is this shit? And on the front of it, it said sugar metabolism. Like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that does. Okay. It's in right here where kids can get a hold of it. It's not like it's banned or it locked up. Because Walmart has things locked up too. The stuff that is more expensive, things that are actually costly. And so I'm like, okay. I grabbed that shit and started taking it. They came and pissed at me. And they came like three days later. I was like, what the fuck? Like. Why are you guys still here? Why are you bothering me? Y'all just pissed at me. I guess I pissed hot, you know? I didn't know. So I'm cursing them out and fucking with them and shit. And really, they're like, hey, we coming to get you. I got the notice and shit. I'm like, oh, fucked up. But I don't take shit. So I'm like, what the? There's no way. And they're like, bro, you popped. I'm like, there's no way. And so they said, what are you taking? And I sent them everything I'm taking. And I'm like, it's that one right there. Oh, fuck. And so I fucked myself on the last one. And shit happens. And now we're here at the fourth time, but maybe it's meant to be, you know? Maybe it wasn't worth it for 40 grand. Maybe it wasn't worth it for 
80 grand. Maybe it wasn't worth it for 100 grand. Now we're getting closer to 200s, you know? And so maybe it's closer to there, you know? Yeah. And can you just tell me a little bit about the transition from the last fight into this one? I think a lot of people think the referee did you dirty in the last one. I know you took it like a champ, but um, to come off a result like that and transition to a camp, is there anything you had to do special to kind of look out for your health and just make sure you are ready to go on Saturday? That's crazy. Um, I never took anything in, into account. I mean, I took everything into account, but one thing is fighting, you're going to go, I'm going to go on my shield. This is what come with this shit, you know? It's some warrior shit. I came to die. But, like, I'm going to get knocked, pow. All right, I'm down, and all right, maybe I'll take a shot or two, and that's cool. But one thing I didn't prepare for was like, hey, that ref could let you get too much damage where you might not come back the same, you know? Just because he let you go a little too long in there, you know? Their, their job is to save our lives. So a bit of me was like, uh, I don't know about that part of it, you know? Like, damn, I did sign up for this shit, but I don't know if I signed up for that part where I'm like, bro, I wouldn't even fucking awake no more. I was just, my body was just moving, but it's like, bam, 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 bam. All right, is it enough? Bam, 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 you know? I'm like, fuck. But shit, it's part of this game, you know? It's part of this game. The ref's doing his job, and shit happens, I guess, and I'm a warrior. It's part of this shit, and keep it moving. Bobby, I got one for you. On a lighter note, last time you were here in Vegas, you had an incredible finish, but you walked out to Sexy Red. So I'm curious, are you going to do that again this time around? <laughs> hell no, hell no. Uh, Jamal Hill yelled at me and won't stop yelling at me about that to this day. You know, like, that's my big dog. And every time I... We run each other, he's like, bro, you came out the sexy red. Like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? What the fuck are you doing? He always, like, when everybody else is like, oh, it was cool, it was cool. Jamal's going to be the guy that tells me, like, nah, bro, nah. He's always on the other side of everything else. He's going to give me the straight, raw truth. You came out to a stripper, bro, <laughs> you know? And so, nah, I won't be doing that. I always want to do something new every time. So what's, do you have any ideas yet for this go-around? I'm playing with a couple different songs, but I think I found the one. I think I found the one. Bobby, hey, Bobby, here. right um, here. Can I get your, how do you think Jamal gets it done against Alex? That's my dog. Uh, I've been getting a lot of flack, you know, for saying I'm riding with him and stuff, but I ride with my niggas, and, and, and I stay true to myself more than anything else. Um, I think he's going to put Alex out. There's something weird about Jamal that people don't understand, and I watched him, and I'm like, the way he's throwing these strikes, the way he comes and covers distance, if you're not ready, you will go to sleep. Ask Johnny Walker, you know, he wasn't ready for that shot. He put a nasty beating on Glover, you know, where I think he just took so much life off of Glover. That guy is nasty, you know, and so the way he does certain things, I think people are not, are not prepared for it. It's not the average, like, Pajeda's been fighting, like, the standard striker type of guys. And don't get me wrong, I love Pajeda too. He's fucking sick, nothing but love. I love Glover, really. And so, all love to those guys. But I'm just gonna call out Garcia too, even though I have a little bit of bias for my dog. But I'm, I'm telling you, none of these people that he fucking dropped, they had no idea where they were getting hit from. He throw in different ways and it's just not the average, like, orthodox striker where I'm hooking like this and no, what if I hook you over the top? What if I hook you a little under? And that's the, the difference. In, in your weight class, what do you think about that BMF fight between Justin and Max? Uh, I'm happy for both of those guys, you know. Um, those are two of my favorites, you know. Fucking true warriors. Guys that really stand on these shields. Guys that go out there and put great fights on, you know. Um, those are, are the brothers of the sport, and I'm happy for both of them. Um, Max is, is a perfect example of my code is to jump on every opportunity. When you see us all the time, we're going to fight as much as we can. We're trying to fight all the time and stay in front of that before our time is up. And so you got to respect that about them, you know. The other guys like Islam are taking their time with, with stuff, you know. Guys are taking their time. Like, no, no, if you want to be that star, you want to be that guy, you got to go out there and take those chances and those risks. Volkanovski, another guy, you know, gets out there, take the risk. And sometimes you may come up short, but fuck it, I did what you motherfuckers weren't, were too pussy to do. Hey, Bobby, over here. 
Uh, Bobby, I was watching your IG, and you put this up uh, a couple weeks ago on your story. You said, I was just going to show I'm better than him. Now I'm going to hurt him. Uh, Kinez, what changed and what brought out that mindset for this fight with Jim? Um, I'm, I kind of like, when fighters talk about me, uh, it's kind of like, uh, I'm kind of like Michael Jordan. If I find that little edge where like, oh, I can get cycle with myself, and I'm like, oh, you know? And the last time somebody said that was Nazareth. He was like, oh, Bobby Green won't stay on me. So I broke the record on how many strikes I could hit him with, you know? Um, and then Dawson said the thing, too, like, I'm here for it, just a check. So I knocked him out, you know? I put these certain things in my head, and I'll go crazy behind it. Like, now I'm mad at you, and I got something to prove. Normally when I fight guys, it's just like, I just want to prove I'm better than you. I don't want to hurt you because I want you to have a prosperous career. But I just want to show that I'm the better fighter of the two. Jim was saying, like, when our fight came out, he didn't want to do this because all the different obstacles of all the bullshit. But I'm like, bro, I took that fight on two weeks' notice for you. I jumped in there, and I fucking went to a hospital for a week, and now I'll put that shit in my hair. Like, oh, I got something I could, I'm going to show you something now, you know? And, and the fact that we got it washed and washed and washed, now this is what you're fucking waiting for, bro. And I promise you, it's going to be vicious. Cool. All right, guys.